There has been a hotfix, hotfix. Clay really is fast fixing a lot of these points. So first of all, they fixed Sleetweed and Nosh Sprout not being picked up. Now it works again. Same goes for their interplanetary payloads. They can now be picked up again. The Meteor Blaster's look and animations have been updated. Same goes for the Meteor Blaster building sound and blast shot explosion sounds. They added a range visualization to the Meteor Blaster. The building has a range of 33 times 33 tiles. The Meteor Blaster can no longer target meteors that are blocked by tiles. If you build a Meteor Blaster underground, it will tell you no surface site. As you can see, they added a storage meter to the Meteor Blaster. And they no longer need more than one blast shot to get rid of the red symbol down here. The projectiles now also look different. As the range indicates, the Meteor Blasters can no longer shoot more than 180 degrees to each side. We do have new meteors. There's a Bleachstone Meteor leaving Bleachstone, Bleachstone debris and Oxygen behind. There is the Oxalite Meteor with a temporary art style at the moment, leaving Oxygen and Oxalite behind. There's a Uranium Meteor leaving Uranium Ore and Uranium Ore debris behind as well as carbon dioxide. Then there's also the Mug Meteor, which I don't have an actual footage of, so I just dropped a few Mug roots. We actually got the Mug Meteor Shower later on, and it consists out of slime, phosphoric and algae meteorites. All of these four new Meteor Shower types can be found on certain asteroids, but I can't tell you on which planet what happens. Need to figure that out myself. <laughs> For the DLC, they added a variety of meteor showers to different asteroids. The shower frequency and intensity differs from the base game. The affected asteroids include the classic style inner asteroids, the spaced out style inner asteroids, except for the starting asteroids, the moonlit cluster inner asteroids, excluding the flipped asteroid, but including the starting asteroids, and the marshy asteroid, found under classic, and then it is one of the distant asteroids here. The blast shot makers have been moved out of the rocketry category, as you can see no more blast shot maker, into the station category. They're now kinda in the middle here. They updated the open blueprint, drop screen buttons and icons. Hmm. They added the all available blueprints claimed state to the blueprint drop screen. Excavating the ancient specimen now appears in the side screen quest objective list UI. I think that is this thing here. Fossils now display quest information when selected. I think that might be this window here. And as you can see the fossils are still there. They didn't disappear. Which means we can use them for decor somewhere in the base. Which is super amazing. There has been an updated artwork for the unexcavated fossils. If you don't want the fossils in your base for whatever reason, you can demolish them. You will need a demolition skill for that though. Which is the third tier construction skill by the way. They progressed the artwork a little bit of the main fossil dig side. Fossils now provide an increased decor after being excavated. This is a 12 times 12 area, so radius of 6. The fossil quarry, this is how this is called now, is demolishable after the story trade is completed. I didn't know that you can complete this in any way. And here we do have our first unidentified object. If you click on it, you can see where it is heading. You can identify the unidentified object with the help of a few telescopes for example. That's what the allow meteor shower identification button is for. Now we know this is a mug meteor shower nice. That's exactly the one that I couldn't show you before. And now it shows the time before collision. 2.2 cycles in this case. Once the Mug Meteor Shower arrived, it went on for quite a while, if I would take a guess, for at least a whole cycle. The reason why a few of us, me included, didn't get any Meteor Showers while testing for the last hotfix and update was because spawned in duplicates didn't activate the visited state on a planet. Now they fixed that. Meaning you should get the visited state even if you spawn in the dupes, leading to you also getting the Meteor Showers. At least if you spawn the dupes on the right planets. We do have another unidentified object. And the update notes state that they increased the amount of meteors in the ice and iron showers on the Regulus asteroid. Since this here is the Regulus asteroid, this could very well be an ice or iron shower. As it came in range, we noticed it is a radioactive asteroid field with a regular meteor shower. If the shower arrives your planet, it looks like this and also keeps on going for a while. Let's see how this looks with the blast shot building. Or not. Don't try to delete dev tools. And here you can see the blast shot buildings in action. Since the meteors are spread out and come one after one, the buildings obliterate them. And as you may have already seen, you can supply them with the conveyor rails, which is super handy. 
They fix duplicants getting stuck when deactivating the oil well while the duplicants are using them at the same time. As you can see, no one got stuck. If you want to support me with these videos, just leave a like. And if you like to see me try to survive with 100 duplicants at start, trying to reach the 100th cycle, check out this video here on the screen. Love you guys and Luma out.